What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcade video. On this one today, we're going to be playing some Simpsons Pinball Party. Virtual Pinball Party. So I've always wanted to kind of record this. Um, I didn't really want to do a screen record, but I do kind of have like a whole rig set up because somebody did write to me on YouTube asking to hear the sound difference between solenoids and the surround sound feedback. So we'll do that in this video, but I'm also gonna basically do a little video of me actually playing the Simpsons Pinball Party on my virtual pinball cabinet. Excuse the audio, I have my real microphone on the overhead camera, so there's gonna be two screens on this. Basically, one screen is gonna record the actual play field, and this camera is gonna basically record the DMD and the back glass. Um, we're just gonna basically play, you know, maybe one or two quarters, and then we'll go into the surround sound feedback versus solenoids. Long story short, me personally, I like the solenoids, I love the solenoids. I wouldn't make a pinball cabinet without the solenoids. Um, is the surround sound feedback a good substitute? It's two different worlds, it's two totally different kind of feels. Um, me personally, I like the solenoids over the surround sound feedback. And a real quick thing to kind of backtrack, as far as when I was doing the tutorial on wiring, do not wire your amps with the same power supply for your LEDs. For two days, I was trying to research it. For some reason, I had a loud buzzing sound. That was because the basically the power supply with the LEDs on were giving a loud hum through the speakers. Basically, I just took a power supply that the amps came with and I direct plugged them in, so do not wire your amps with the power supply, the 12 volt power supply. Don't do it. Save yourself the headache. Don't do it. Uh, without further ado, we'll play real quick, just kind of a, bit, a quick quick thing when it comes to actual visual pinball or virtual pinball, I should say. Um, you gotta keep in mind, people do make these cabinets and they do make these to play thousands of pinball tables. Me personally, I mean, you're looking at like one month, yeah, it's been one month. I, I I basically completed this on my birthday, August 30th. Today right now is like September 29th. And basically I've been playing the Simpsons Pinball Party for a month. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little rusty. But the big thing like when you're playing pinball is that every pinball table is different. Literally there's different kind of modes and different kind of games. Like, you know, there's basically objectives to every pinball game. So. As far as me doing a whole image of like a thousand pinball tables, I'm not really a fan of that. That's not why I built this. I honestly am playing this one particular pinball table a lot. There's just so many things to do. There's so many objectives. And again, with pinball, you know, some people, they just think it's a marble you're hitting. Where in all honesty, there's objectives to these tables. There's objectives to the gameplay to get the points and all that. So keep that in mind when you are doing pinball, you know, me personally, again, I like this table. I love the game to it. I love the whole, there's a lot of stuff to do with it. And just keep that in mind when you are building a virtual pinball cabinet. I get people want thousands of table and endless tables, but it's kind of pointless if you're just gonna bounce between tables. Me personally, I haven't really played with this for about a week. So I'm gonna be a little rusty on maybe the first couple of quarters, but let's get some gameplay down. Let's check it out. Let's set up the cabinets. Now I'm not gonna do a whole tutorial about the actual Simpsons pinball party table. You can actually see there's a video of somebody actually playing it and trying to go over the objectives. Um, but basically there's a couple of key things. You got a couch on the top left that's multi-ball. Um, I played a practice table. I got one out of the three locked in. So there's just a lot of stuff. You go through the garage, you basically start different modes, like um, something with like Wiggum and something with like Willie. It's, it's a lot of stuff. So just keep that in mind when you are doing pinball and virtual pinball. You know, I personally have only played maybe three tables. Um, yes, the software could do thousands of tables, but for me, I really wanted to play the real table. All right, so I have this camera right here is taking all the audio in, the microphones on this camera. I did one quick kind of quarter to just get, you know, into the groove of things. Um, but again, this is the big thing when you start learning your pinball and you learn the tables. Um, as you can see here with the Simpsons table, there's a couple of key things. We have the garage, we got most tavern, you got crusty here. So 
Homer goes like shoot the clown, hit the clown. You want to hit him here. You got itchy and scratchy multi ball, and you have the second floor play field here for the couch multi ball. So again, while you play, there's a lot of things that happen. Basically, when you go through the garage, you initiate one of these days or these kind of challenges. Um, and the big thing is like you know, I know the table, so I know how, for example, to hit this clown. I have to hit right on the edge of the left flipper to hit the clown. If I was going to hit the garage on left flipper, I literally got to hit right here. Right flipper, I have to hit basically dead center to hit that. Also, most tavern is kind of a little bit to the right. Um, also, check out the extra balls. On ball number three, it unlocks extra ball. And as you hit the flipper, the extra ball light will kind of, you know, cycle through. And you want the ball to hit it. So, enough talking. Let's get one in. I'm a little rusty, but let's start. Now again, just real quick, I have full audio. This is as if, as if I was normally playing the table. So I have my 2.1 actual audio and I have the surround sound feedback. The audio you're gonna hear right now is how I personally play the entire table. So later on, we'll turn off 2.1 and we'll turn off the solenoids. And right now, everything is on right now. So solenoids for uh, surround sound feedback and the 2.1. I'm starting to get in the habit of tilting. Uh, I'm not really too used to tilting, but I did bump the tilt sensitivity up. So instead of really jerking the table, the sensitivity will register. Here. I didn't even aim up here, uh, but it's like once I saw itchy and scratch, I was trying to get that. Um, if you do hear up who, that's a skill shot. So every table does have a skill shot. Anytime you kind of hit the ball up here and you hear up who, I got the point for the skill shot. Okay. That was a skill shot. Okay, 
gonna try to hit the clown maybe. There's just a lot of stuff going on. It's awesome. Let's see, no multi ball bit, uh, extra ball. Bit.
Shoot right orb. Got it. Damn. I'm trying. <laughs> I didn't get it. That's it. Okay. Shoot the right orbit because you crossed the air. Damn, not doing good. Must you always be so good? I'm not doing good. Keep the volume low so you can at least hear solenoids and all that. I was trying to get the, the multi ball, um, but we'll do it again. This time, no audio coming out of speakers, surround sound, and solenoids on. So again, all the audio you hear is coming out of the exhibitors. Extra ball is lit. Damn. Got the extra ball. Yeah, right down the pipe. Again, all the audio you hear is excited. Today's not my day. <laughs> it's really not my day. Wow. <laughs> I'll do it one more quarter just for the surround sound. Now, little stuff like that, you hear the drrr, you'll hear it soon. Oh, I, yep, there it is. That's partially the same smart board going off. So, anytime you actually hear that, that's the same, because the same sound board is right here underneath. So, you kind of hear it. shaking the table, I get kind of scared shaking it, but I just, I gotta adapt, I gotta adapt. Hold 
keep it all lit. And I'm gonna do it again. Try to get the couch up here. It's like right when the pinball drops, I gotta go with it. There it is. That second pinball, multi ball, almost lit. If I do it one more time, I get multi ball. I also have itchy and scratchy about that one. Oh, almost lost it. down the pipe all the time. <laughs> Think I one. Yep. Got one more ball, more, uh, extra ball not lit. So um, I'm gonna do it with the real plunger. That's real plunger right there. So that's my real plunger making that noise. Or if I hold launch ball, that's the that's like the, the, the excitement. Okay, one more. Oh. I think I still have multiple active though. Oh. That came right down, that, that went too fast. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna go under the table just to make things easy and I'm just gonna unplug the Sane Smart Board. It's gonna be the easiest thing to do. Or I should say the LED Wiz. Okay, so now I have the Sane Smart Board, I should say the LED Wiz unplugged, USB is unplugged, so you are no longer gonna hear the same smart board. You're not gonna see any of the strobes or the beacons go off. We're just now doing surround sound, basically. So. Again, I had the LED was linked to the LEDs underneath and all that. As you can see, everything is off. Even my LED buttons in the front, the lights aren't even on. So here we go. Multi-ball's lit. Oh, damn it. Almost had that. Now, I've never played this table without the solenoid, so this is all new to me. Kind of hear that, how the, the flipper kind of bounces, the pinball hits the flipper. It gives a pretty cool effect. My um, backup camera died that was pointing to the back box. So we're just gonna do play field now.
trying to get that itching and scratching out to go. Oh, come on. Maybe we'll get a couch mode ball right now. Let's see. Oh, come on. Are you serious? <laughs> There it is. Yes, itching, scratching, multi ball has started. This is going to be good for surround sound feedback. Enter initial, so I did get a high score on it. So I'm just gonna put the put a bunch of these for now. I'm gonna do one more time with audio on surround sound feedback on. Again, my back box camera died. The only big thing is that um, I'm not sure what I did, but there's one sound effect, and it kind of just goes like. Brrr. It's I'm not too sure what I did. I think I messed up a file, an audio file, but. That I could get that fixed, but there's basically an audio file thing I have to just kind of update. So, I'm gonna do it like normal volume, like I would play. Come on, maybe we we'll get the multi ball. Multiball, check this out. Solenoids would have been amazing right now. <laughs> and we start itching, scratching. <laughs> oh, and I think I did start itching, scratching, multiball. 
challenges going on that whole time. <laughs> Way to go, dude. That was awesome. Wow, I still have... <laughs> that was one more. That was only one more. I'm gonna let it drain out. That was good though. That was a good round. I'm actually almost at the highest score. Might as well try to get the high score real quick. Nope. <laughs> That's it. I think I got second place in that one. Number one. That's not the greatest though. I'll put Vic on it. Whew. There you go. All right, so overall, if you were gonna ask me, surround sound feedback alone, it would work for like a tiny, maybe tabletop pin, but I, I like my solenoids. If you were to say, hey Vic, solenoids or surround sound feedback, you can only pick one, it is solenoids all day. Surround sound feedback is, you know, it's a cool feature. It does bring kind of the realistic vibration as far as the ball rolling but it is not a substitute to the actual clicking and thumping that the solenoids give out. So again, that is my verdict. Solenoids are a must, surround sound feedback. I'm not gonna say it's a must. Uh, if you could do both, definitely do both. If you had to pick one, it would be the solenoids. VicVP Game Case Arcades.